this again. All right. Mark Romanek, uh, your movie is so unusual, the, the plot premise of it. Let me ask you to set up the story. Well, I mean, it's based on this very, very celebrated and beloved novel by Kazuo Ishiguro, and it's about three young people that grew up in a boarding school in England in the 1970s. But the England is a slightly skewed alternate version of England, and uh, the film has a, a very subtle science fiction tone that I think gives it that unusual quality. Is the film adaptation of this more romantic than the book? I haven't read the book, and I was reading some things online where people were saying that that uh, that was an artistic choice you made and, a, and, and, and one people really like a lot because it, it emphasizes the question, the central question of this movie, and that is the humanity of these children. Well, I mean, the book is a book of ideas. It's a book of emotions. It's a love story. It's a, um, it's a metaphor or a parable to, for about mortality and the importance of friendship and love in, in the in, in the in the uh, light of our, our mortality. And you know, the book is more is 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 richer and more far-reaching perhaps than a film could ever be. We we chose to emphasize the love story of the film as a, as an emotional entry point for the story. And I think if people look at it as a science fiction film, they may be disappointed. It really is a love story, first and foremost. And one that has a lush musical underscore. You, of course, in your career have made a specialty of uh, music videos and have won awards for that. Uh, what was interesting about this movie is you, you carry this story on the wings of song or music all the way through. There's almost very little silence in this film. Oh, I would argue with you. I think, you know, I was, uh, I wanted there to be moments of, of, of just the sounds of nature or the sounds of a ticking clock or the sounds of the waves on, on the coast. But there's a sort of beautiful score by Rachel Portman. And the trick with the score was, because it is a love story, is to make a romantic score that isn't in any way sentimental or, or, or saccharine. Uh, Ishiguro's writing style is very reserved. And uh, although the book is, is, is a, is a hu humanitarian piece, a humanist piece, I should say, uh, it, it's, it's, there's, a, there's a reserve to how Kazuo expresses himself, and we tried to create, recreate that a little bit with the music. Wanted the music to be memorable and beautiful, but not sentimental. And I think Rachel Portman did a great job.